Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jen Blue and I am a holistic energy healer um, as well as a doula who offers uh, support and assistance for individuals who um, would like to create an ideal conception, um, an ideal pregnancy, an ideal birth experience, an ideal postpartum experience. So um, I help individuals towards to move towards that goal. So um, my work essentially is um, it deals a lot with our ability to create that which we desire. So I pull in a lot of different elements um, and I have various services that support this process. So I believe that everyone has the ability to um, be fully prepared for parenthood, um, that although situations may arise, you know, when we become parents, um, we've prepared beforehand in order to be able to better handle that situation or that circumstance that arises somewhere in the future, having done the work prior. So having prepared prior. So this creates um, an ideal environment to bring new life into. Um, I have um, very much personally experienced, um, I'm a single parent, so I, I come a lot from my own personal experience. My, um, my first birth experience was traumatic with my son. Um, I had an unsupportive partner, um, and I had um, a non-ideal marriage, to say the least. And through that process of uncovering, you know, how I arrived at that point, how um, I got to that point, um, and healing myself and going into recovery and everything else, I have um, developed a um, practice, a process for other individuals to prepare for parenthood, essentially. And this means um, preparing as early as possible. So this is prior to conception. Um, I feel that there is a natural order to things and a natural process to things. And when we stay in alignment with that, um, with uh, a design, you could say an intelligent design, then with a natural order, then, then we have that experience that we're meant to have um, as a human. So um, I feel that as a society, as individuals, we have become extraordinarily disconnected from the natural order of things, from the natural process, and we have become a medicalized and disease-oriented society, and I see that everywhere within my work. I see where people have had to go, what they've had to go through in order to, you know, get pregnant, and, um, and I have, you know, various philosophies behind that again, from my own experience, from also opening myself up to listening to many other perspectives um, within various um, sectors of society, um, from um, many, you know, a full range of perspectives. And I have begun to, you know, build my own based on what I've witnessed, based on what I've personally experienced and different things like that. Um, and I'm sharing this so you understand, you know, where I come from, my approach, my point of view, um, so you, um, so, so we can connect, right? So, so you know how much I have to offer you. Um, we can, you know, work on so many different levels in coming into various understandings. Um, and I am able to assist and support in such a, you know, a big range. Um, from, you know, preconception through to, um, you know, even pa past postpartum. So, um, so essentially when, you know, I work with individuals, it's, you know, what do you want? You know, what do you truly desire on the, on the deepest levels of your being? Like, like what type of family do you want? Um, and you know, this is kind of like a, you know, like a preconception type counseling. If you come, you know, you come from that perspective, it's, it's how do we get to the, to where we want to be, um, and not rushing the process, truly knowing, you know, like, like releasing the need to focus on age, 
releasing the need to focus on, oh, my biological clock is ticking, you know, um, releasing the need to focus on, I am ovulating at 5.33 a.m. on August 17th, and that is um, where, you know, I, you know, I need to aim all of my energy and my focus towards. Um, but how do you get to that point? You know, think about the energy that's behind that. That, that need to control or that um, that distrust in things naturally happening. And, you know, I am sure that there are many out people out there who will, you know, discount this, but it's not, um, and I'm not saying that there are specific circumstances or scenarios where there are, um, you know, interventions required or the need for IVF or different things like that. Like, I'm not out of alignment with that. I understand that. But it's truly um, preparing yourself, right, for whatever has to come next. So if you have to go down that road, how does your marriage survive that? Right? How does your marriage survive a you know a fertility treatment and IVF? Like how do you how do you ensure that your marriage is strong enough? Because you know once you go down those paths, um, you you will encounter many scenarios where your you know your marriage is tested. So. So again, I take this holistic perspective of every aspect of your life is is very important in um, navigating to that, you know, that what you desire, that what you desire. Um, and for me personally, I feel that this this creates a better society, right? It, it, it um, empowers an individual, right? It's an individualized approach and yet through that, um, that work, you know, we're able to begin to create a better society, um, better families, you know, more aligned families, more um, engaged, um, more um, aware of, you know, the current studies and the evidence that is out there regarding various things like electronics or, um, you know, it's, it's really, you know, doing the work to ensure that you are responsible parents completely and it's getting out of that um you know the ego and really really um doing the work you know really doing the work and honoring that process and knowing that it's not going to be easy but you know that you know that that connection you have with your partner like that is paramount like, that is paramount um to parenting bringing, you know, children into this world, like prior, you know, to having that healthy environment is, um, although it happens, right, it happened in my situation, we've all, you know, there's all these different circumstances. It's, it's just, you know, really integrating these ideas into society, these, um, these healthy, you know, relationships, healing prior to, um, you know, to having a child, you know, really being prepared. Um, and there's so many different aspects that go into this. So um, essentially it's what do you want as a client, ideally? Um, what would you like to create? What would you like to navigate towards given, um, you know, also given the reality you face, this is not a, um, a service that would set essentially, um, necessitate um, sorry I just lost my train of thought there um, so you know this is taking the reality into account you know this is taking the actual reality I don't come from a um, space of not understanding right I, I know how things are out there I'm under no illusion as to how things truly work and it's learning how to um, you know release blocks where there are some it's learning how to really, um, you know, gaining new, fresh perspectives. It's shifting out of old perspectives. It's coming into new understandings and various things like that, which then, you know, it creates that, um, that mindset, right? Where when you're, when you're a parent, how do I navigate this situation? You know, how do I handle, um, common core? How do I connect to that when I was not raised in this type of educational system? 
Um, it's, it's truly like understanding where things are at and um, coexisting with it, right? And coexisting with it, accepting where things are and learning how to navigate that reality optimally, right? optimally as parents. So, um, so this is obviously that reality. How do, how do I get you, how do we get you there? So that's another thing that we work on um, within my, um, my service office offerings is how do we get you there? Um, what do you need to support you in getting there? Uh, this would include, um, you know, shifting perspectives, shifting mindsets, introducing new language, um, uh, new communication style, as well as, you know, practicality, what's functional, what's practical, um, and various things like that. So, um, and how do, how do I go about that? Like, how do I um, assist you as an individual in integrating things um, and not only hearing it, right, but actually creating that connection, that alignment into that understanding, which then allows you to take action, right? So when you're, when you know, right, when you make that connection, it's like, oh, this is what I can do in this situation. So very oftentimes we're bombarded with um, articles, you know, Google searches, but how do you integrate all that? How do you integrate all that? How do you um, learn how to communicate that? Um, and this is, again, this is a process. It is like rewiring in some way. It is releasing, you know, old programs that you, you know, you grew up with. So if you grew up in a dysfunctional family where communication was a problem, how do you learn how to communicate in a healthy way? Um, and so the way I go about that is to um, introduce hypnosis. I work through hypnosis induction technique, which is uh, works at the quantum levels. So it is, um, it induces you into a very deep state of trance, um, which allows, you know, the conscious mind to, you know, essentially be bypassed. So where we say, oh no, I don't know if I believe this or, you know, what is this? This is weird. It's, it's like relaxing your mind to the point of where, you know, the point where you're transitioning from um, sleeping state to waking state or waking state to sleeping state. I take you into that state and then we work on um, various levels of consciousness to essentially, you know, you could say reprogram you or reset, you know, reset your, um, your systems um, to, you know, calm the mind and, you know, release the anxiety associated with, you know, transition and shifts. And it's, and it's developing that growth mindset, right? That, that progression um, forward on incremental levels, um, really truly integrating, right? Really truly integrating, really truly choosing to become this better parent and then getting the necessary support in order to help you get there. So that's how, um, that's how I work. Um, in addition to the hypnosis, I do energy healing, coaching, guidance, um, and then I provide, you know, doula support as well. So, um, and that comes in various formats. Um, so given that, um, some of the, uh, aspects that I feel are most important to, um, these are the elements of a healthy birth of what I call a birth divine. So this is like an original blueprint of how birth is meant to be experienced, right? That is, um, you know, that is just the way we're created, right? Like you, you don't necessarily have to believe in a higher power, but it's evolutionary, right? So it's, it's how we were, you know, we as humans, um, biologically, how, you know, this biological advantage of having um, a certain um, experience, right? It, it creates that biological advantage. So, so through this process, you are naturally prepared to be parents. Um, there is a reason why things are meant to happen in this natural order way, um, and it's evolutionary based. It's not, um, it's not faith based. It's, 
it just is, right? It just is how we were created and meant to birth. Um, there's no, um, there's really no room for anything other than preference or style or um, um, circumstance or different things like that, which, you know, is always taken into account. It's understood. This is where we're at right now in society. But what can we do about it in order to navigate that? So um, the elements that I um, really focus on are environment. So what is your birthing environment like? Even if you're in a hospital um, or a non-ideal type, you know, you know, um, not homey or, um, you know, hospital is a hospital, right? So how do you create a better birthing environment within the hospital, right? Um, how do you create that, that ideal birth environment that, what, what do you want to bring that new life into? Um, your mentality, your mindset uh, is definitely key. Your perspective, your ability to um, mentalize a process, to visualize a process, connect to a process. Um, your partner support, your external support network um, is something else we also, is very, you know, key to a healthy birth. So things we work on. Um, your visualization, your ability to create a vision um, of what you want to, you know, create and then being able to kind of like step into that space um, of realizing that you, that it's not just going to be handed over to you, like you are the creator, right? You um, are the one who creates that, right? It's not, um, it's not just handed to you. So um, that also you know, stepping into understanding. So understanding things at a deeper level, um, trusting, right? Like how key is trust, like trusting your own body. So understanding your own body, trusting your own body, understanding your own process, trusting your own process, um, knowing, right? Knowing something. So we work through, how do you know something? Um, like, and truly know it, you know, it's not as simple as I know this, you know, like fact, fact wise, but how do you create a depth of knowing based on your own experience, based on who you know you are, or based on, um, you know, and this isn't through distortion or an egoic perspective. This is a deep knowing of yourself on a deeper level, um, and knowing the situations that are presenting. Um, another aspect is emotional mastery. So self-regulation. So learning how to regulate, um, you know, through intense emotions and intense experiences and not blocking, blocking it out or trying to control the emotion or control the situation or control another person. It's truly allowing emotions to flow, right? And to be and um, mastering that, you know, that expression of them, um, allowing that expression of them um, in a very, you know, um, coherent way. Uh, the other aspect, of course, is your care provider support. So who's your, um, you know, do you have an OBGYN? Do you have a midwife? You know, exploring different options within that arena, if that's something you choose, or if you already have that, it's, it's learning how to work with that, right? Um, the other aspect, of course, is communication. So learning how to communicate in a healthy way in a way that um, truly communicates what you're trying to communicate. Um, you know, how do you find words to what's, what's occurring, you know, within you or what's occurring external to you? How do you, you know, essentially um, communicate with your environment, right? How do you communicate with your environment? Um, and that's not just, you know, verbal communication, that's, um, uh, nonverbal communication as well and how how is how are you able to create something like healthy right so emotional maturity is really big here it's um it's really you know taking care of yourself right not um you know being in a codependent type dynamic or really you know you, you know empowering yourself right you're empowering yourself um and the other aspect, you know, and I'm so empowerment is a big aspect, self empowerment, um, being empowered within your experience and having the space to, in order to do so. So really, you know, for me personally, I take a very hands off approach to, to situations. I want um, the other person to connect and empower themselves in that situation. Um, and I provide the space for them to do so. 
uh, I provide the encouragement for them to do so, for them to advocate for themselves. And so, so how do you get to that point, right? And so that's part of the work I do. I don't expect everybody to come to me already, you know, ready to go. This is obviously a process. Um, and it's being, you know, it's choosing that process and being open to it and, you know, connecting to it. And of course, energy, like the energy you bring into something, are you bringing in a, um, what type of energy? Is it vibrant? Is it alive? Is it excited? Is it, um, you know, not so much? <laughs> is it, um, fatigued? Is it exhausted? Is it, is it, I don't want to do this? Well, um, when you're a parent, you <laughs> you don't get breaks, right? So it's really, really getting you there and prepared and ready, um, because everybody, you know, everybody deserves that. Um, it's it's where we should be moving towards. That's that's that responsibility of the self and responsibility of what you're, you know, it's it's a commitment. It's a commitment, and it's taking responsibility for that. Um, so. So I offer, again, hypnosis, energetic facilitation, coaching, meditations, homework, um, videos. I know nobody likes that word. It's, it's more of just, um, you know, things to work on, things to integrate into your actual life. Um, and, and these are, this is not like, yes, it's work, but this is meant to be enjoyable, right? This is something like when you start doing it, you're like, oh my gosh, why had I not started doing this before? This feels so good. This is such a better fit. And although it's uncomfortable to begin with because you're changing a pattern, right? Or you're changing something or you're moving into something new. Um, it's, you know, learning how to, you know, be at ease with that, number one. But it's also, um, you, you know, really realizing the benefits and the rewards from it and feeling that energy. Like, wow, this feels so much better to hold this perspective. Or this feels so much better to communicate in this way. Um, and of course, you know, you need that partner support. So, you know, both, both you guys being on the same team and, and, you know, takes two to tango working as a team. So learning how to co-parent, not one person, you know, holds the pants, the other person, you know, demands, but it's being, you know, it's being an equal and it's, it's being an imbalanced, um, co-creative, uh, willing to do the work, um, dynamic. So, um, so, you know, videos, educational materials, exercises, and visualizations. That's how I assist you in getting there. Um, and as far as if you're, you know, if, if you, if you are aware of alignment or energy fields or anything like this, this assists in aligning you functionally. So this means you're able to function better, right? This is a better functioning, um, a, a healthier functioning. Um, I don't like to use, you know, good, bad or anything like that. I did say better, but it's, it's just, you'll feel better. You'll feel like you're fun functioning in a more optimal way. It's optimal. It's an optimal process. Um, emotionally, um, it assists in, in aligning you mentally, spiritually, and physically. So, and when I say spiritually, I mean, um, you know, your higher values, like it, it, it doesn't have to mean anything in particular. It's just your spirituality, your own brand. Like, like everybody has a higher, you know, higher values, like integrity or honesty. Um, that would be your spirituality. There's no, um, you know, it's not a tangible thing. It's just, you know, your level of integrity, your level of honesty. And that changes with time. Um, and that's your spirituality, you know, it's, so it's growing within that and is growing within all these different levels, growing to function more optimally, um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. And it's just, you know, creating this more harmonious environment for yourself and everybody else around you and your, this, you know, this new life that you're bringing in. So, um, I hope that gives you a good idea of how I, um, how I approach birth, um, and the, and other things like this, the same way, same approach. So same, um, uh, same way. Sorry. I just had an email there that distracted me, but it's, um, you know, conception like, and it's, you know, so it's this process, it's this journey through what I say, sacred, sacred sexuality. So it's embodying sacred sexuality. Um, 
it's embodying this process, right? And um, continuing forth with it every day, working on it every day, um, this ability to um, really truly, you know, create a better world by bringing life into this world and it's honoring life to its fullest. So um, I hope that gives you a good idea of how I work. And um, if you would like to schedule a consultation with me, I do free 15 minute consultations. We can discuss whatever you have you know, going on, whether you're looking for a birth doula or you're looking to process through a traumatic birth experience or whether you want to prepare um, for a conscious conception and you would like some support and assistance and knowing how to do that and where to go and who to go to um and you know and also working with me you know because it's i'm also able to you know recommend various other services within that arena i can only support what i can support but there's plenty of other service providers out there that also um i can work in alignment with um and it's uh, it's really, you know, stepping into this, this new, you know, this new way of, of birthing, which is really just the original way and, you know, getting back to that, like connecting back to our nature and, um, and going from there. So sending everybody, you know, lots of love and good energy. And I hope to work with some of you soon. Um, I, you can check out my website, www.jujubedoula.com. Again, I work, um, anything that's related to any of those issues, like, you know, we can do a consultation and we can figure out how I can, um, assist and support, um, the situation that's presenting itself for you and, um, create that, um, that ideal experience that you're looking for. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.